Oh, we yeah. are walking around the airport right now. Just, you know, having some fun. Just chilling. Just partying. There's a KFC. We've already walked in this direction though, Max. We should go this way. I love to come to the airport early. If you're team airport, let me know down in the comments below. I like to work here, stare at people. There's so many different cultures. I mean, look. I just chilled there for about four hours. If your team get to the airport half an hour before and rush to the airplane but to the why? gate. why? Like why do you hate airports so I much? I don't. But I, I don't understand people, they love airports and they don't want to be here for long. I want to be here, I want to look at everybody, I want to do everything. I like either, I like either. But sometimes it's just you can't get to the airport that early. Because, why? We can play truth or dare and record it. That'd be fun. I start off. No. Okay, go. Truth or dare? Truth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is your least favorite YouTube commenter you have? My least favorite one? You. <laughs> the truth hurts. All right, my turn. Truth or dare? Dare. How many boring people pick truth? I dare you. I dare you to stand right there. Take the camera with the front screen up with the screen up and start singing um you got plans tonight i'm a couple hundred uh, by sean mendes how loud like loud enough so some people can hear you <laughs> oh no <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch. You have to watch. You can't walk There's away. No rule. I'm not. I'm just gonna stand over here. <laughs> over there. I said over there. <laughs> Do you got plans tonight? I'm a couple hundred miles from Japan tonight. She, she bombed you. <laughs> she did? And waved, yeah. <laughs> that was so cringy. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to dare you to do anything because like, it's the worst secondhand embarrassment. <laughs> and I know you'll actually do it. Truth or dare? Oh no, I don't like this. <laughs> truth or dare? No more. One more. Okay, truth. Oh. Which man here do you find attractive? And I'll zoom in on his face. No, it doesn't count. No, you didn't say it doesn't count. Yes, it does. No, you didn't say it, it doesn't, doesn't count. It doesn't count. You have to say, you have to say one man. It's like you don't have a problem with doing that. <laughs> Which woman do you find attractive? The one in the f at the first table. Yeah. All right, the camera thaw. <laughs> okay, truth or dare? Truth. Boring. I'm not getting anything from you. Okay, truth. Have you ever 
Have you ever peed in the pool? Not in the pool, no. I'm tired. I really don't want to be vlogging right now. We're like second in line or third in line, so we're gonna get this over with and go to security check it. Okay guys, so we just encountered a scary situation. We walked up to the check-in desk of Turkish Airlines and they checked her passport, and asked her for the visa. She handed them the e-visa and they said no, she needs the visa by the consulate. Like in her passport. Guys, this my hands right now are shaking. As of October 15th, because there's political uh, issues between the two countries, Turkey and the United States. Um, so if we want to go to Turkey, she has to have a visa in her passport. The visa is not valid. And we're like, oh, damn, what are we going to do now? We asked her, like, is there any way we can still go? And if not, is there any way we can, like, book an onwards flight from Turkey? So Istanbul is just a layover because we had those really cheap tickets and we didn't want to get really them up. Like really cheap tickets. Yeah. Like, I was so proud, <laughs> and we thought everything was going to go so smooth because we thought if the worst case scenario is the air, the travel agency that we booked through didn't give us legitimate tickets because we got such a good deal on yeah. the ticket, like 180 yeah. US dollars for 12, for 12 hour, hour flight, flight yeah. with suitcase included. And I don't have a problem because uh, I can just go to Turkey without a visa, 90 days, even like without a passport, just with my ID. Um, but yeah, and then she did some more research, talked to some of her colleagues, and it turns out that that only goes for the diplomats and uh, she, they somehow got something mixed up. So now all we need is the onward ticket, like for Kimberly, showing that she's going to the Ukraine on the 15th, which I'm hella glad about. That we still can go to Istanbul. And so she's booking that right now. We still have plenty of time. Not plenty, but we still have no time. So I can get a ticket for $89 to Odessa or for $68? Let me just do everywhere. Flexible. I really wanted to go to the Ukraine, but... No, like, do Ukraine, do Ukraine. This is like really pressured right now. Do the Ukraine, do Odessa, just like you wanted to. Take the, the pressure of choosing away now. Do Odessa. Or should I go to Sap or... No, I'm gonna do Odessa for yeah. 20 more bucks. Yeah. Okay. I hope I can get a deal where, well, I'm gonna take your backpack. Yeah, so. But actually, but the deals are better than it says. I tell you guys, my heart is racing so bad and it's still racing really, really fast. Um, so when she said there might be good news, I was like, wow. I'm like, the good news is we can go to Istanbul and then go somewhere else yeah, from there. Yeah, so we don't have to <laughs> like cancel those cheap tickets. I feel so bad. I want to know how much it costs to get uh, baggage checked in because that really means a lot like if you are buying a budget ticket sometimes it's not better no if, and then I would be taking Max's backpack but your backpack is did you get in away with having it carry on Max for Hong Kong 
Or did you check it in? No, I checked it in. Because I always had check in baggage. So. so I need to like see how much it costs to have it checked in. So, Kimberly found a really good flight with Ukrainian International Airlines for $84 from Istanbul to Odessa and it includes up to two checked in bags of 23 kilograms. That's a really good price. My hands, y'all, are shaking. These are the realities of travel sometimes. I don't have gum in my mouth. Apologize for the German viewers that are going to be triggered by that, but this is just reality right now. We're keeping it as raw and real as possible. I'm super glad that we documented earlier, like, just chilling, having a great time. I... So, I already wanted to whip out the camera when the oh, situation was me not too, in the actually. clear yet. But I didn't know how she would handle it. No, I didn't know how you would handle it. <laughs> Probably, but I honestly was like, Max, get out the camera. <laughs> I was scared of you. <laughs> <sighs> But this is what it's like to be a full-time traveler sometimes. Yeah. And I love it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Us sitting like on the ground here at the airport. The best and worst thing ever. So Kimberly's walking up to the counter now with her laptop showing them proof that she booked the ticket to the Ukraine on the 15th of November. I know, but I now. Was, like, close. <laughs> Guys, this is really some exciting stuff here. Honestly, you almost have a heart attack, but when it's over and the relief is there, oh, it feels so good. Wow. I just want some beer. Do you want some beer? That is our crew tonight. Okay, so we're currently waiting ever since Kimberly showed her ticket and her ticket confirmation. But yeah, so we're waiting here so we don't have to get in line again. So then we can get our baggage checked in and yeah, go to security check in and get on our flight. But yeah, they're up. They might open up another office, another check-in counter, so we don't have to wait in line again. Wow, how complicated! Do you have to deal with people like me? Yeah, I know. I'm American, and American Turkish politics are weird. You have to deal with like somebody with, like that guy who's Ger he has a German passport and an Israeli passport. Then the Somalis. And the Somalians. What? Okay, so we just went through immigration, now security check. We don't have a lot of time because we still have to take the, uh, the subway through the airport and everything, but we're going to make it. This airport is huge. I just got tagged in the post. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what a relief. 
<laughs> Truly. <laughs> this is why I am an advocate for coming to the airport early. What you're did I tell right. you? You're right. <laughs> Famous last words of Max. <laughs> Uh, first and last. Twenty-seven. Sorry. Update, we are now in the airport. We are eating a bagel. In the airport. Because we deserve one, because we got one before this, because <laughs> I'm hungry. I burned a lot of calories after that stress. We have a whole aisle to ourselves so we can obnoxiously vlog. <laughs> Touchdown in Istanbul. Touchdown. That was a really sweet land. Yeah. It's raining. We're back in Europe. Well, to be fair, it rained a lot in Asia too, but... We don't know how cold it's going to be yet. I could tell I touched the window. Huh? I touched the window Oh, no, but it's always cold because you come from such high altitude. Wearing yeah, mm -hmm. I think that's the sign of the <laughs> Turkish people. <wear. laughs> and I'm wearing a skirt. Istanbul. We're here. We're ready for you. Are you ready for us? I'm not sure if you are. <laughs> what? You're not in the vlogging mood yet? <laughs> Just woke up. Um, um, oh gosh, so I get accepted. <laughs> oh, with an annoying boyfriend like that. <laughs> That's a nice thing that everybody on our plane is not coming to Istanbul. Yeah. The immigration line might not be wrong because this is just a major airport where you to other airports. <laughs> English. Hmm? She did not even ask me if you have any onward flights. Oh, really? She didn't even say hello <laughs> to me. Like, no English at all. Wow. She was 
looked at everything. She didn't even really look at my baby, so. Wow. Okay, see? Easier than we thought. I film I traveling whole time. I got you a bit while you were standing there. Like um, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you need to record and and from the loud area. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a need for it. <laughs> So Max is checking if his data plan will actually work here in Turkey because I mean we're in Istanbul. Istanbul is a part of Europe. Um, so Turkey is really unique in the sense that it is Asia and Europe. Sorry. On the left, new mosque. On the left, Egyptian bazaar, Greek uh, Grand Bazaar. All everything in here. Okay. Uh -huh. huh? Oh, thank you so much. Huh? No problem. Huh? Uh, in here, Fener uh, room, Patrikane, uh, Christian people uh -huh. come here. Orthodox Christian people. Understand? Yes. I mean, it's a it's Patrikane, Patrik, you understand me, Patrikane? Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Very, very big. And all Russian, all Greece, all Orthodox uh, people yes. in here. Yes. Come to that church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, how big is the percentage of uh, Christians in Istanbul? It's um, not new and it's very old. Understand? Before, yes. uh, maybe. Um, Six, uh, yes, six, uh, six hundred years before uh -huh. Istanbul is a Christian um, emperor. But one time uh, Fatih Sultan Mehmet came, and after <laughs> here we understand. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So as you can see, traveling full time can be really stressful at times, but like usual, everything ended up being okay. I must admit, I was a little nervous to be in Turkey as an American because of the politics. Contrary of my beliefs, Turkish people were so kind and hospitable despite my nationality. People are not politics. I appreciate all of the love and kindness I received in Turkey, from giving me blankets when I was cold to warm smiles. Thank you, Turkey.